Hey, and welcome to SciQuest Inc. I'm your host, Glenn Brown. So today, we're going to find out more about one of SciQuest Inc.'s most popular and affordable products, the HydroBox. Let's take a look. Hey, guys. Hey, Glenn. How Andrew. you doing? What's up, pal? How are you, Mike? Hi, Glenn. Now, for the audience at home, I'd like to introduce, from SciQuest Inc., the president and chief engineer, Mike Curran. And this is Andrew Torini. How you doing, folks? He is head of marketing and sales. And today, guys, we're going to talk about the HydroBox. Guys, what is the HydroBox? Well, Glenn, this is the HydroBox right here. It's a portable, high-resolution echo sounder used for inshore and coastal marine surveys in depths ranging from 0.5 meters all the way up to 750 meters. Like Mike said, uh, you know, this is a very versatile piece of equipment, very portable, very portable solution to active sounding needs. Uh, in fact, it's the most portable uh, solution on the market. Uh, it's also very economical, and uh, you know, this is by far the best solution to any application in shallow water needs. All right, Mike, now, if I install this on my boat, now, do I need to install it in a specific area? I mean, is it, does it make a difference? Absolutely. Uh, the electronics itself is not that critical as long as you keep it away from other electronics that may be extremely noisy. But the transducer location is somewhat critical because on any boat there's sources of noise that can affect the operation. And uh, basically the biggest source of noise that you encounter are air bubbles. We recommend that you don't keep the transducer in the front part of the vessel at least a third of the way back and then also don't install it where the engine is going to come into play from acoustic noise or prop noise. Well Mike, you mentioned transducer. What's, what is the transducer? What does the transducer do? The transducer is responsible for uh, transforming the electrical energy that comes from the box into sound energy that goes into the water. So a high level short electronic pulse is translated into a, an acoustic pulse here. It goes down to the ocean floor and then comes back and is received on the same face of this transducer and is processed and then goes through this sensor box and up to the display for the user to view. I noticed you guys have a laptop too. Now, laptops required for uh, installation as well? Yes, the laptop is what the users are going to use for their interface to the product. The laptop is how they change the parameters to set up the survey application and the, depending on if it's shallow or deep water, they're going to have different parameter settings. It's also used to store all the information that comes from the sensor unit and that is it stores all the depth information over time and it also stores all the graphic information exactly as it was captured during the survey in data acquisition mode. That's, that's pretty awesome. Mm. Now, do I need a special laptop or any laptop would do? Basically, any at-home laptop, uh, wow. which is portable, uh, will do. We'll do quite fine with the HydroBox. All right, guys, now what about, do I have to worry about getting this wet? Not at all, Glenn. Uh, the HydroBox is a uh, very portable piece of equipment which is encapsulated in a splash-proof plastic. It would take a lot of damage to take one of these things down. It'll, it'll last you for years, which is, which is a great investment. There you have it, folks. Portable, high-resolution, shallow water echo sounder. Now, you guys are going to install it for us, right? You said yeah, it takes absolutely. about 20 minutes? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Wow. I look forward to that. That should be great. We're out here at sunny Narragansett Bay in Newport, Rhode Island on our, uh, our boat, the uh, SciQuest Real Pursuit. And uh, we're going to install the HydroBox um, transducers doing an over the side mount, which is a typical installation that our customers would be using. It works well for us to have this 4x4 going across the, uh, the beam of the boat and the transducer will hang off the side. Then we slide the pole into this space and flip over the, the bracket. We have a, a rope. If you're, if you're doing high speed surveys, it's always a good idea to tie a rope four of the transducer mount and that'll hold the transducer in place. Okay, Glenn, so that completes the electronics installation. We got our cable hooked up for power, data, and transducer. And uh, I cook, hooked the data cable up to the back of the PC, so we're ready to go. So if there's anything underneath this, we'll, we'll know. We will absolutely see it all down there. We, we've now got the system up and running, and uh, we're running in dual channel mode. 
Uh, we've got the 33 kilohertz channel on the left and the 200 kilohertz channel on the right. As you can see, we're collecting data and the depth values are over here. You're reading 36.7 on the high frequency and, and it's changing obviously, but you can see that the depth is being digitized on both channels. The GPS position being recorded and uh, if we had course information and our heading information, it would also be identified here as well. The, the overall data on the high frequency, you can see the return is a narrower pulse because it's a narrower beam and gives a higher accuracy depth measurement in these shallow water applications. The 33 kilohertz is a wider beam and it gives us a consequently a wider return but it's also much better for penetrating sub bottom or softer sediments and also used in deeper water application and we're also recording all these all this information the graphic information and the depth information in in files on the computer so that you can play them back exactly as they've been recorded here during data acquisition that was fast that was really fast and simple Thanks. Well, we try to keep it easy for the customers, and uh, we know there's a lot of first-time users. So. User-friendly, I think the term is, huh? User that's friendly. right, yeah, user-friendly. Very, very user-friendly. Well, that's it, folks, the HydroBox. It's a portable, high-resolution, shallow-water echo sounder designed for inshore and coastal hydrographic marine surveys up to 750 meters of water depth, right, guys? Absolutely. Well, Mike, Andrew, I want to thank you guys for an awesome day. I was, I, I've seen it installed, and I've seen it work. I mean, and there's... There's also three P's to this. What are the three P's to the HydroBox? That's correct, Glenn. There is three P's. And the three P's represent pricing, performance, and portability. And SciQuest Inc. incorporates all of these features directly into our products, including the HydroBox. And we encourage our customers to contact the SciQuest sales staff. You'll be glad you did. From SciQuest Inc., I'm Glenn Brown. See you soon.